three years and 330 million dollars later, the Metro Orange Line busway is almost here. Last Friday, we got an early chance to ride the new busway and get a first-hand impression. The first thing you notice is how big the bus is. Well, actually you can get up to 75, 80 people in the vehicle. Yeah. If this were New York, they would take out the whole road of seats to get more standing. Officials have underground transportation. Right right the there, the there's some talk of going underground at some point. Right? Yeah, so the, the, the subway station itself is designed to accommodate a future. That is, of course, if it touches on. The Orange Line busway has a few things going for it. Gas prices keep climbing, and we spend more time sitting than driving on the freeway. The busway offers an alternative for both problems. The trip from Warner Center to the Red Line station in North Hollywood should take some 40 minutes under normal circumstances. Buses are expected as often as once every 6 minutes during peak hours. Wait until you hit how it the line, line, the busway from North Hollywood to Warner Center is something we've been working on for a number of years. Uh, it started as a as an idea that was drawn by me on the back of a very airline's napkin uh, when we were coming back from Puerto Rico, Brazil. Dick Reardon, Bob Rosberg, and myself had uh, gone down there to see their, their transportation system and said that that concept could work in Los Angeles. In the first place, we thought it would be workable was here in the San Fernando Valley. It's so great. It's not a train, though. Let's get serious here. But uh, it's the best we were going to get. I think it's going to be great for the valley. I think it's going to surprise everybody that it actually gets used. And we're going to do our best to promote that. Still not ready to commit? Try it for free the weekend of October 29th and 30th. This has been a special report for DailyNews.com.